Hello and welcome back to the Girl Gone Natural Homestead channel. I am taking clippings this morning and growing extra trees from those clippings. I was watching Lead Farmer 73's video on how to take clippings from your tree and regrow new ones and this is something that I had done in the past but mostly with just azaleas and other yard plants but I'm doing this with uh, fruit trees today so right here behind me you'll see my tangerine tree and then right there over to that side you'll see my pomelo and then goes around grapefruit lemons and more lemons okay so I am going to be doing fruit trees. I'm going to be doing the pomelo, uh, grapefruit, tangerine. I may do two tangerines because I love tangerines. So here we go. Okay, so I have the grapefruit already done. And so what I did was I took a mixture of perlite let me show that to you I took a mixture of perlite and peat moss and just mixed it together I wet it and in Lev Pharma 73's video he used uh, cocoa core instead of peat moss but I couldn't find any cocoa core in my area so I just went ahead and got the peat moss instead okay and so now here is my tangerine that's my tangerine plant there and so his technique was to soak the, the two ingredients the peat moss and the perlite and then you're gonna go through and you know take your clipping and then you're gonna scrape down to the cambium layer scrape too too much and go further than I'm supposed to so and then he he took his root stimulator and okay so I dip it in the root stimulator make a hole and just sit it inside just like that okay and the soil is already really moist and he said that he has 100% success rate by doing it like this so this is a cup inside of a cup so your clear cup is inside of the red cup to keep the light from getting to it and so I will label this tangerine and that's one more down so we have grapefruit and tangerine so far and so here is my pomelo we thought that this was and I'm gonna go ahead and clip off some of these janky looking leaves and so we thought that this was grapefruit all the way until this year <laughs> We literally have had this in the ground for at least five years. And we thought that it was a grapefruit. But my husband discovered by doing a little research um, on the tree itself, meaning that we left the, the label on there and he was up under the tree looking around and he looked at the label 
And he was like, this is not a grapefruit. And he went to the net, obviously, and did some research and found out all of this awesome information about this pomelo. Pomelo, pomelo. Not sure, you know, how it was originally said, but it was, it tastes very, very similar to grapefruit. And from his research, he was saying that this was the plant that the grapefruit derived from. So, um, <laughs> I'm planning another pomelo. Pomelo. And we're going to see what we get. It's been a really long time. I don't even know if I spell that right, but I'll know what it is for myself. But it's been a really long time since I did this. And so I am super excited to be back doing it again, growing extra trees. And some of these are going to be in containers instead of in the ground. Um, so starting them here they will definitely go from this starter container to just a larger container okay so thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please do so thank you so much and also check out lead farmer 73's page if you have not already um, it is like an amazing world over there so Thank you and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video.